The federal government started investigating Los Angeles jails in 1996, back when Bill Clinton was president, the Spice Girls were all the rage, and Tupac Shakur's killing dominated the news. The U.S. Department of Justice was concerned that mentally ill inmates had been abused or cared for so poorly that their basic constitutional rights were violated. Those concerns led to a lawsuit and years of federal monitoring. But more than a quarter of a century later, change in the country's largest jail system has been halting at best. In a blistering letter sent late last year to Attorney General Merrick Garland, four U senators described conditions in L.A. County's jails as a humanitarian crisis and appalling. They cited reports of people routinely chained to chairs, denied medications, forced to urinate in sinks and left to sit in their own feces. The Democratic Senators, Alex Padilla and Dianne Feinstein of California, Cory Booker of New Jersey and Kirsten Gillibrand of New York, also raised concerns about jails in New York City and Miami, which are under federal monitoring as well. In lockups in all three cities, conditions appear to have grown worse, the senator said. They placed blame on the Department of Justice. The DOJ's failure to correct or prevent the constitutional and human rights violations in facilities that are under consent decrees undermines the department's broader efforts, as well as the public's faith and confidence in our legal system, the say. The lawmakers laid out a series of questions, about what steps the Justice Department had taken to correct the problem, how it was managing the federal monitors and how many lawyers had been assigned to the cases, and requested a reply within two weeks. Four months later, the senators' offices confirmed that they had not received a response. The Department of Justice on Friday acknowledged only that it had received the letter. We are aware of the request from the senators, but do not have any comment at this time, spokeswoman Ariel Bradford wrote in an email. The L County Sheriff's Department did not respond to a request for comment. Corrine Kendrick an American Civil Liberties Union attorney representing inmates in two separate federal class action suits against the county's lockups, framed the local problems as part of a broader pie. In the past year, conditions in many jails across the country, including Los Angeles, have. It is noteworthy that jail conditions are so abysmal that these four U senators, including both of California's senators, called on attorney. Garland and DOJ to step up and address the human rights violations in the jails that are under DOJ consent decrees, 